Thanks for coming out here this morning. We've got another great day. And what we're going to talk about in this section is how do you take these feelings that we've practiced, how do you take that circle and take it out on the golf course and play? Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? We've got to be able to transition from the range, build the feelings, and then take them out on the golf course so that it becomes automatic and we're just swinging the circle back and we're swinging it through and we're enjoying the game the way that it was meant to be played. Why do we start on the practice tee if we're talking about playing on the course? Well, you have to learn to practice how you play and play how you practice. So what I'm saying is there really shouldn't be any difference between standing up here and getting ready and playing a practice shot to when you're going out on the golf course and you're on a real difficult hole, you've got to feel like you're on the practice range when you're on the course. And so we're going to teach you how to develop those feelings and that is going to be found in developing a routine. We didn't really talk about this yesterday. We were talking about the clinic where I talked about the whys underneath the do's. And then we talked about the fundamentals and that was how to use the CB ball and how to work on some parts of working with the CB ball. How to work on that done drill, you know, where you pull your shoulder back, you know, and then that, how that releases that ball to go back and through in a nice circle. And so when you're on the range, if you're going to practice those, if you're going to work on one of those fundamentals, then you always want to then tie it in with the routine that we're going to teach you today so that it becomes not something that you think about when you go out on the golf course. Now the pros understand this. Of course I played in 340 PGA Tour tournaments and I had a routine. All the pros on the tour have a routine. That's their security blanket. That, that takes all that interference that we talked about, all those things that bind you up. Remember the ball, the swing, the target, all that interference out there, the water, the hazards, the trees, the wind, and it keeps you in this little condition incubator, you know. Your routine gives you the confidence, too, that when you go out on the course, it's going to be automatic. So we're going to talk about now, what is the core feelings? What's the very basis of what we're talking about? How do you take the feelings from the CB ball? How do you bring them into your golf swing? And then how do you send the ball out to the hole? Now, when you're working on these, there's a very interesting research element to practicing, and that's that the last thing that you see with your eyes when you're moving up to any kind of motor activity, or you feel with your hands or your body, you will take that feeling and you will retain that for about six to eight seconds. And so what we're going to do is develop a routine so that you practice it on the tee here, when you go on the course, you're going to do your little routine and then within seven seconds, eight seconds, you move in and you play your shot and then your body will instinctively respond back and try to replicate those feelings and the things that you've seen in your mind's eye. So that's one of the key things to practicing. And then also you can see that I've set up a little teaching station. Now the reason you do this, and all the pros do it, the pros use these uh, uh, snow poles, you know, and they'll lay them down. You'll see them in their bags. But what we've done is we've taken a club and we've laid it down so that you can see that it's aimed a little bit to the left of the target. And the reason we do that is because you always want to start from a station where you kind of know the direction of the target so that you set in. And as we go through our routine, we set the shoulder and the face. We know where that target is so that we can make our circle through the ball and send it out to the hole. Jeff, come up and let's show them how to do that routine. Tee up some balls on those tees. I'm going to take the CB ball because I'm going to show you how to build this routine. And I'm going to take you through the routine. Now this is the core one. This is where you really learn how to transfer those feelings. And this is the, the real meat of all the instruction. So first of all, we're going to take our CB ball, stand over to the side. There you go, back up just a little bit. There you go. Now we're going to make a nice circular swing up high like a baseball bat all the way around. Come on, let's get those shoulders really loose and keep those arms, those elbows in right in front. This is a real oily type feeling. And now you want to bend down a little lower, a little lower. Now you're into your golf swing. And what you're doing here is you're really feeling the swing. You're feeling the circle. You know it's right because the ball is touching you right below your shoulders on both sides. And we're going to keep those feelings now so that we can transfer them to the swinging of the club. Okay, now let's take the club and let's go through the same sequence. 
Let's start with an up high baseball swing. Really loose, loosen those elbows. You may even want to touch the shoulders a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Really relax it because you want that oily feeling. It's all going to happen. Now you may want to even close your eyes when you do this because that's going to help you to get more in touch with the feelings as you do that. We're trying to build those remembered feelings. In our mind, mind's eye, have that picture of the circle. Okay, now that you've finished that, now you want to go ahead and take those feelings and set up to your ball. The club's lining you up with your left shoulder in the face. Now do your little waggle, your waggle right over the top of the ball, all the way past, a little bigger waggle. Come on, relax those wrists because this is where you're really feeling the circle. This is the last thing that you're going to feel and see with your eyes. Now put it down behind the ball and now let's circle this club back and circle through. And wow, you really cranked that one. That was awesome. That was awesome. And that's how you really practice. Now, you know, you want to practice this over and over again. You can't do this enough. So take your time because because this practice is really going to build those feelings into your swing so that you can trust them when you go out on the golf course. Now on the course, Jeff, we can't take the CB ball with us. So the club has to be our CB ball. That's where we get those remembered feelings going. So we're going to take that out. We're going to set up to the side of the ball like this. Now, as you look out there, you want to feel the circle. You want to almost see the pink streamer swinging that ball out there. Now you want to take a swing up high in your baseball swing, just a couple, real relaxed, oily feeling. Now down low. Okay, now you've got the feelings as if you're swinging the CB ball. Now you want to set your shoulder, set the face to your target. Do your waggle now, nice, loosey waggle. Big waggle past the ball, perfect. Now put her down there and circle back and circle through. Boy, what a great shot. And this is the routine now that you're gonna use when you go out on the course. It's as simple as one, two, three. We've practiced how we're gonna play and we're gonna play how we've practiced. And that's the whole deal about developing a routine. It's the thing that's gonna really make your game work when you go out on the golf course. Well, we're finally out on the tee, and this is where we're going to take those feelings that we've practiced on the range, and we're really going to put them into action. Those remembered feelings, that picture, that see it, feel it, and swing it is going to come alive out here. Now, when you look out to the fairway, your routine that you've practiced is going to dispel all of that interference. Most people are going to look right at the water. They're going to look right at the traps. They're going to say, don't go there, don't go there, and then their focus is never going to be on where they want it to go. But what we're going to do with our routine is we're going to observe where we want the ball to go. Just conceptualize the shot going out there. And then as we come into the ball, we want to see that, see it. We want to see that streamer. We want to just feel it in our brain, you know, in our mind's eye, just to see that beautiful full circle sending the ball out there. And then as we set up, now we're going to go into the feel it. We're going to start up high as if we're swinging the CB ball. Feel it. The club is the CB ball. It's perfect. Bring it down low. Oily, relaxed, feeling it. Now we have seven seconds to get it over. We set the shoulder, the face. We're doing our waggle. This is the igniter for the swing it. And then we put it down and we circle back and we circle through and we nail it right down the middle. That's how we tie them together. That's how you take that routine. That's how you take those remembered feelings. That's how you take that picture and you bring it out onto the golf course. It doesn't get any better than this. I mean, look at how gorgeous this hole is. Now, because you've got your good routine, it's going to take all that trouble out of the picture right there, see? And also up to the right, the bunkers. That's what the routine's all about. Seeing it, feeling it, swinging it. Land your shot, take that broad, big picture, bring it down to where you want the ball to go, conceptualize it, come into the ball, and now you're going to kind of imagine that streamer going, to circle it up there. We're going to put the club down, we're going to bring it up and take our baseball swing. We're feeling the CB ball as if the club is the ball. A couple swings. We've got the remembered feeling. 
We're going to set the shoulder, the face, the waggle, and now we just simply swing the circle back and through. And put it right up by the hole, about 20 feet. I'm going to do my routine now with my putter. Clean the ball up a little bit. I've got my stripe ball. I'm going to aim that stripe just on the left edge of the cup. Go through my routine. Grip. I'm going to see it. I'm going to take my practice swing. I'm going to feel it. And then I'm going to trust it as I go right through to the hole. See it, feel it, swing it.